around 2007, I was reading an interview with the great Roy Haynes, where he mentions uh, what was considered one of the greatest musicians of all time, a drummer out of Chicago named Ike Day. Max Roach, Sonny Rollins, Art Blakey, Johnny Griffin were all known uh, to cite Ike Day as a source of inspiration, yet there's so little known about him. There are stories uh, that he had MS, uh, that he'd be snuck out of the hospital at night to play gigs, even contradicting stories about his own death. Uh, one person told me he died in 1958, another in 65, uh, another person said mid to late 70s. Uh, it came to a point where uh, I asked myself, what am I finding so interesting about this particular story? That someone or something could have a significant impact on others, all the while representing this sort of invisible influence. And this influence only lives in our minds. It's not so much an accurate historical document of Ike, but I like the idea of his story remaining in the imaginary, letting our minds fill in the gaps. There are so few documents of Ike, yet his name is being carried through these tiny cracks and passageways through time. It shows that the light that you can create with, with what you're doing in the moment can have a sort of tremendous impact on others. In photography, it's not the photograph you're looking at, it's the, the interaction between the person taking the image and their surroundings. It's a reminder that it's the, this action of doing that is the source and possibly the most important thing we can do for each other in the immediate.